Magnus here, what's up? In my channel, I like to talk about cameras, especially when it comes to video. And in this video, we're going to talk about the Canon C70 rumored update from Canon Rumors. Let's jump right into it. Now the C70 has been a cinema camera that's been released, I think back in 2020, but it has been a very reliable, really good camera when it comes to producing images for video. It's in Canon cinema line, but now recently, a firmware update has been rumored by canonrumors.com that suggests that we're finally going to get raw recording in the Canon C70. Now, raw recording is the fact that you can actually tweak and change your metadata in post-production, such as white balance, such as ISO settings, and a bunch of other things, especially allowing the ability to manipulate colors much more dynamically and stretch your colors out to a point where you weren't able to push it that far before with like 10-bit footage or even 8-bit footage. But now this ability to record RAW internally is something that's exciting because many competitors and Canon themselves offer the ability to record RAW. But for some reason, the Canon C70 never came out with that. It only recorded log footage in up to 10-bit color, 422. But now you're getting 12-bit RAW. Now what this means to me personally is that the Canon C70 is going to be a much more attractive camera to purchase versus what it was before, because to me that limitation of not being able to record RAW, I think held it back a notch. Although the Canon C70's dynamic range is superb and really pushes the capabilities of a sensor to a next level degree. That mixed with the fact that you can get a focal reducer and almost get a full frame look out of your smaller sensor body is amazing. Of course, with Sony's FX6, you also get a full frame sensor and you don't need to have a focal reducer, but this allows you to use varying amounts of lenses from EF to RF lenses and really adapt your shooting style to what you would need. So I think that's an advantage from Canon's standpoint that is frequently overlooked. But to have raw recording, let me tell you, if this is coming out in the announcement that we're expecting when it comes to the R5C, but you're also getting raw recording off the C70, the C70 excites me more. Let me tell you why. If the R5C is kind of like a super R5, Basically an R5 that has no overheating limits is probably a little bit bulkier to allow for those unlimited cording preferences and then it gives you like Canon Log 2 for example and then it gives you better recording codecs then okay it's interesting but if it's so close to the R5 that means raw recording is going to be limited to of course only 8k footage up to 30 frames per second and that right there is kind of like the problem. The R5, which I'm using right now, can record RAW up to 30 frames per second, but when I want to slow things down and get some slow motion footage, I can't record in RAW on the R5, and that kind of handicaps it. So my question is, with the rumored specs of the C70 now being able to record RAW internally at 645 megabits per second to SD cards, not CF Express cards, SD cards. Will that also apply to slow motion footage? Will they just give a similar bit rate to all those different recording formats and kind of compress it even further when you're recording, say, 4K 120 frames per second? Or will you actually be limited in that raw recording to like, let's say, 30 frames per second because you're recording to an SD card? So Canon Rumors did not mention whether the C70 would be able to record up to 120 frames per second but I'm sure we'll find that out as soon as that firmware update is announced. So we'll have to wait for the announcement to see whether the C70 can record in those higher frame rates. Until now, we don't know. But when we do know, when Canon finally announces the R5C hopefully and the C70 firmware update, you'll get my reaction on this channel. So stick around and hopefully you enjoyed this video and you'd make my day if you subscribe today. This is Magnus and I'm out. See you guys later.